The W65C816S is a 16-bit microprocessor developed and sold by the Western Design Center. Introduced in 1983, the W65C816S is an enhanced version of the WDC65C028 bit MPU, itself a CMOS enhancement of the venerable MOS Technology 6502N MOS MPU. The 65 in the parts designation comes from its 65C02 compatibility mode, and the 816 signifies that the MPU has selectable 8 and 16-bit register sizes. In addition to the availability of 16-bit registers, the W65C816S features extended memory addressing to 24 bits supporting up to 16 megabytes of random access memory, an enhanced instruction set, and a 16-bit stack pointer, as well as several new electrical signals for improved system hardware management. At reset, the W65C816S starts in emulation mode, meaning it essentially behaves as a 65C02. Following reset, the W65C816S may be switched to native mode with a two-instruction sequence, causing it to enable all enhanced features yet still maintain a substantial degree of backward compatibility with most 6.5 CO2 software. However, unlike the PDIP40 version of the 6.5 CO2, which is a PIN-compatible replacement for its NMOS ancestor, the PDIP40 W65C816S is not PIN-compatible with any other 6502 family MPU. Related to the W65C816S is the no longer produced W65C802, which is discussed below. History Development of the W65C816S commenced in 1982 after Bill Mensch, founder and CEO of WDC, as well as the designer of the 65C02 microprocessor consulted with Apple Computer on a new version of the Apple II series of personal computers that would, among other things, have improved graphics and sound. Apple wanted an MPU that would be software compatible with the 6502 then in use in the Apple II but with the ability to address more memory, and to load and store 16-bit words. The result was the 65C816, finished in March 1984, with samples provided to both Apple and Atari. Apple subsequently integrated the 65C816 into the Apple IIGS computer. Mensch was aided during the design process by his sister Catherine, who was responsible for part of the device's layout. In the 1990s, the 65C816 was converted to a fully static core, which made it possible to completely stop the processor clock without losing data in any of the registers. This feature, along with the use of asynchronous static RAM, made it possible to produce designs that used minimal power when in a standby state. The basic 65C816 design was second sourced by GTE, Sanyo and others from the mid to late 1980s to the early 1990s. As of 2015, update, the W65C816S is available from WDC in a 40-pin PDIP or PLC C44 package, as well as a core for ASIC integration. WDC, itself a fabulous semiconductor company, works with various foundries to produce the W65C816S, as well as other compatible products. Discrete processors are available through a number of electronics distributors. For designers who wish to include W65C816S functionality into a custom ASIC, WDC offers RTL code in Verilog. In the past, WDC offered a 6502 PDIP 40-pin compatible variant of the W65C816S referred to as the W65C802. The 65C802 was fully compatible with the 65C02 in all respects, but was 100% software compatible with the 65C816, including the use of 16-bit registers.
The W65C802 lacked the ability to generate a full 24-bit address, thus limiting it to 64 kilobytes of memory like the 65C02. The 65C802 was produced by WDC and GTE during the mid to late 1980s and early 1990s. Typically, when hardware manufacturers designed a project from the ground up, they used the 65C816 rather than the 65C802, resulting in the latter being withdrawn from production. Features Fully static CMOS design for low power consumption and increased noise immunity. Wide operating voltage range. 1.8 V plus or minus 5%, 2.5 V plus or minus 5%, 3.0 V plus or minus 5%, 3.3 V plus or minus 10%, 5.0 V plus or minus 5% for use with varying voltage peripherals. Wide operating frequency range, using a single phase clock source. Emulation mode allows software compatibility with the 65C02, accepting undocumented opcodes. 24-bit memory addressing provides access to 16 megabytes of memory space. 16-bit ALU, accumulator, stack pointer, and index registers. 16-bit direct page register, 8-bit data bank and program bank registers, generating bits 16 to 23 of 24-bit data and code addresses, valid data address and valid program address outputs for dual cache and cycle steel DMA implementation, vector pull output to indicate when an interrupt vector is being addressed. Abort input and associated vector supports processor repairs of bus error conditions, such as page faults and memory access violations. Separate program and data bank registers allow program segmentation or 16 MB linear addressing. Direct register and stack relative addressing provides capability for re-entrant, recursive and relocatable programming. 24 addressing modes, 13 original 6502 modes with 92 instructions using 256 opcodes, including most new opcodes implemented in the 65C02. Block copy instructions, allowing rapid copying of data structures from one area of RAM to another with minimal code. Wait for interrupt and stop the clock instructions further reduce power consumption. Decrease interrupt latency and allows synchronization with external events. Coprocessor instruction with associated vector supports coprocessor configurations, e.g., floating point processors. Reserve, escape, instruction for future 2-byte opcodes and a link to future designs. WDM is the initials of W65C816S designer William D. Mensch. Notable applications. Acorn Communicator, Apple IAGS, C1 Reconfigurable Computer, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Mario RPG, Super Kapu, an upgrade for the Commodore 64.